vlog. I hope you all had a really, really lovely week. So today I'm going to whiz through my fabric picks for the month, things that I'm hopefully going to make. I haven't done one of these for ages, as you might have noticed, um, but I'm quite excited. I've just been looking through the shop, picking out fabrics, and I think I've come up with some goodies. A couple of them I'm not actually certain what I'm going to do with them, but I just love them so much. So hopefully you'll be able to give me some ideas. So before I start, I have a really big favor to ask you all. I know I've asked this before, so I hope you don't mind. Um, we have been nominated and shortlisted for Best Independent Retailer in the South of England for the British Sewing Awards in 2019, which is amazing. And I'm so, so grateful to everyone who put us forward. It really means a lot to me. Um, we were shortlisted last year and we were highly commended. So I would be really, really grateful if you could take two minutes just to go and vote for us. I'll pop the link down below. It's run by um, Sew Magazine, but it's all voted for by members of the public so it's a really really special award and um, I think there's about £1,600, £1,700 worth of sewing prizes that you can win if you um, vote so it's worthwhile <laughs> voting as well um, but yeah I'll pop the link down below and the voting does close in a few weeks so if you could take two minutes to do it I would be so grateful. Thank you! <laughs> I'm going to show you what my plans are. So the first thing I'm going to start with, I want to make another indigo dress, a Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress. So if you watched my makes vlog, sorry, I'm making the table wobble. Um, if you watched my makes vlog last week, then you'll have seen that I've made a couple of these already and I do really like it. I made a couple of modifications to my second one and I think I'll do the same with this. But I've got two fabrics to choose from and I can't decide which one. So, um, they're both the Atelier Brunette um, viscose. They're both from the Granito collection. Look at those. So pretty. So this is the night colour, which is like, it looks a bit navy on the screen. You just hold it up so you can see it's got that quite, wait for it to focus in. It's got that quite sort of bold um, kind of medium scale terrazzo print which I love and I love those colours um, but yeah it's, it's a night colourway which is sort of well it is night really they've described it pretty well it's between kind of black and navy so I think it's the type where if you held it up in certain lights it would look black and in others it would look um, kind of dark blue we tend to call it inky but they've called it midnight or night so there's that one and I really like it. And navy is kind of my safety fallback. So I know that this will go with loads of things in my wardrobe. I know that it's a really wearable color. But I'm also really tempted by the same fabric and the same print in the chestnut colorway. But I'm not sure if it suits my coloring. What do you guys think? So let me just unravel it. You can see it's got this, both of them have got this really lovely drape and movement. And this is, sorry, it's not the chestnut, it's the terracotta. So it's sort of like a pinky brownie colour. And I don't have anything in my wardrobe in this colour, but I really love it. And it's so on trend at the moment that I'm wondering whether I should break out of my comfort zone and go with this one instead. What do you think? So we've got that one, or that one. Oh, old faithful, new favorite. <laughs> Which one shall I go for guys? If I don't make the dress out of this one, I have already in my head pictured a maxi skirt instead because I think if I decide that it doesn't go with my colouring, although I think it's, I think it's quite nice, um, then I think it will work really well as a maxi skirt away from my face. And then that one could be the, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but I can't wait to use it. I um, have got an Eve dress in the other Atelier Brunette fabric, one of the other Atelier Brunette fabrics that we've got in stock that I showed you in last week's makes vlog and I just love it, it feels so nice to wear. So that's that one, or one of those ones. So maybe I'll use both, 
who knows. Um, then the next one is a really, really sensible choice for me, which is quite unusual. This is our black Rio crepe. So if you've been following for a while, you'll know that we stock this crepe. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see. It's blacker than it looks there, it's just the light. Yeah, you say it's a really jet black crepe. We stock this crepe in lots of different colours. Got it in black, in navy, in plum, in teal, khaki, all sorts. It's a really nice medium weight crepe. It's got a tiny bit of stretch in it, so it's good for things like trousers and um, culottes and skirts and dresses. I've made quite a few things out of it. And I have made, sorry, I keep sniffing. <laughs> I have made a pair of Winslow culottes, I've made loads of pairs of Winslow culottes, but I've made a pair in this and I wear them to death all the time, but I'd quite like to make a top in this fabric so that I could then pair them together and have a faux jumpsuit. Jumpsuits are really in at the moment, as you all know, but um, I haven't yet braved fitting a jumpsuit on me. So I'm thinking if I go kind of faux jumpsuit and then I can see if I like the shape and I can wear them both separately, that is my plan. But I haven't decided which pattern to use, so I also need your help with that. If you could <laughs> give me some ideas. I'm thinking of something quite simple, um, probably with a grown on sleeve um, and a nice round neckline. I think maybe just something simple like the grain line scout tee. It needs to be long enough and loose enough so that I can tuck it into the clots and it blouse a little bit but not too much. I could go for something like the Tilly and the Button Stevie and just change the shape slightly because I do like the sleeves on that but I'm not certain. Um, or maybe I could go for something a little bit more interesting and do like a, a v-neck, a wrap v-neck, something like that. But I just want it to be fairly simple because then I can wear it with other things, but specifically I want to wear it with my clots. Um, and I'm also, I've got this cut in our teal colourway. I'm hoping I'll make a pair of Winslows in the teal as well. And then I was thinking if I like it and I like the top that I make out of this, then I've got sort of two mix and match things and I could wear the black um, culottes with the teal top and vice versa and I can wear them together and I just think it will, yeah, really add to my wardrobe but I can't decide on the pattern so let me know your suggestions in the comments down below. Okay, the next one, let me just pop this over here. Oh is oh this lovely snuggly ponty this is called sandy leopard ponty you guys know how much i love a leopard print so this is really nice medium weight ponty it's got a sort of black background with sandy colored animal print and then that kind of sand color is woven in throughout and I'm going to make what I'm wearing now. So this is a sew over at Heather dress. I absolutely love it. I'm quite close to the wall so I'm not sure if I can stand up and show you. Let me just put the camera back a bit. So you can see it's got those big cosy pockets. Um, I really like the shape of it and it's sort of mid thigh. Ooh. Perfect for this kind of weather. So yeah, I think I've got another blue and kind of sandy coloured one that I've had for years and I wear it all the time in the autumn winter. I thought this would be really lovely. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. The only thing I need to remember about this is just like this fabric, this fabric only has stretch on the cross grain, so it's nice and stretchy, it'll be absolutely perfect for this. But sometimes I try and save fabric and do a bit of pattern Tetris and move my pieces around. And when I did that with this, I forgot that it only had stretch on the cross grain. And a couple of these pieces, I think, so that one's obviously cut the right way. But I think, yeah, this panel was cut. I turned it around to the sides, so there's no stretch in it. 
luckily there's enough stretch at the front, I oh, know it's at the back. So if I turn around, it looks like there is, but there isn't any stretch in that bit. But luckily there was enough across here and here, and luckily I cut the sleeves the right way. Um, it was just those two panels, but I managed to make it work. So this time I shall make sure that I take enough fabric and I shall, yeah, cut it all out the right way. But I think that's gonna look really nice, even as I hold that up. I think I can't wait to make that. Uh, hopefully it won't take me too long. The heather's a really speedy make, except for sort of just making sure you've got your head around the pockets the right way. Looking forward to that one. And then the other one is a Jersey Make 2. And it is this beautiful art gallery cotton jersey. I thought that my makes were a bit sort of subdued in colour this month because see I'm switching over to my kind of wintry, cosy makes. And there's a tendency to go for those darker colours. But I um, yeah, really love this. And I've actually sort of half made it already so I'm sorry if that's cheating but um, I made a Liesl & Co Maritime top out of this fabric a little while ago but I haven't hemmed it because what I actually want to do is cut it shorter and add a skirt at the waist and then make it into a dress so that's what I'm going to do this month it's been on my list to do I think yeah I made it in June <laughs> it's been on my list to do since then so I'm going to do that this month because again that won't take me too long um, I'm just going to decide what style of skirt I add on to it I was thinking of maybe a pleated just a really simple pleated skirt but um maybe I'll go for something a bit more fitted or maybe even a gathered skirt I haven't decided yet but watch the space but yeah look at those colours Aren't they just beautiful? It's like a sort of orangey toned red and then you've got all these lovely florals and these blues and yeah really really beautiful colours. I just think that will help. You know, how can you not be cheerful when you're wearing a nice bright red dress? So those are my makes, um, well those will be my makes, <laughs> fingers crossed. Let me know your pattern suggestions and which of the Atelier brunettes you think I should pick. We've also restocked a load of the other Atelier brunettes on the website as well, so I'll link all the fabrics down below um, and you can find them on our website and you can also check out our other new in arrivals. I could have picked so many things to make this month, but I'm trying to be realistic with how much I can actually get done. There might be a couple of other things because I might get a little help from Lisa um, with some of our shop samples. So yeah, there might be a few other things that I can show you this month, but let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give this thumbs, a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll go and put my teeth back in and hopefully next week I'll be able to talk a little bit better. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you all have a really, really good week and I will catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye. Um, what was the bit that I wanted to do? Oh, yeah. Is this the nightingale? Garden? That's the nightingale one, okay. yeah. And that actually there's already photos of that one on the oh, website. Okay. Um, so don't worry about photographing it. It, it just does say Lena Crepe on it. Yeah, it's nightingale, Lena Crepe. Lena Crepe is the type of fabric. Um, Should I put nightingale? Yeah, just copy what's on there.